Hello everyone, welcome back to the video on the channel. Today I'll be showing you guys how to make a Dawncraft server using the Essential mod. I actually did another server tutorial which you guys should check out for a feather client. This will allow you for more customizability of your server. But this method right here is the simplest one out of the two by far. So check this method out right here. So we're going to go over to the mods. We're going to go over to uh, the three dots here. We're going to go to profile options. Allow content management. Done. And you can update the mods if you want, but I wouldn't do that uh, because the main thing that we're doing is just getting the essential in. So search up essential mod. There we go. And now that it's in before, of course, we go into all that. We have to make sure that fancy menu is out of here. And we also have to get rid of drippy menu as well. So let's scroll down to find drippy loading screen. I meant to say drippy loading screen, it's not drippy, it's drippy loading screen. We have to delete those two because those would conflict with Essentials mod actually showing up. So we're going to disable those two mods or delete them, however you want to deal with it. So hit play on the Dawncraft. All right, so a good way to tell that if it's working is, well, obviously you see the Essentials mod here. So let me just go to options real quick and lower the GUI scale to three. That should fix the GUI just a little bit so that everything is not so cluttered together. Now you go to single player world, create however you want to create the world. I am going to pick a creative world and you can change the this uh, setting later, but I just want to pick creative just so that I personally have control over my world because I'll be the owner of the world at the moment. So we're going to create the world here. So generate slowly. All right. So once your world is generated in, what you do is that you are going to go into your escape menu and then hit the invite button and then set basically the settings that you want to set for your Minecraft server. So I'm going to do this real quick and you're going to see on the screen right now, like all the different settings you can set for your things such as game mode, cheats and all that stuff. Resource pack doesn't matter too much because you already have the same resource pack as everyone else. And then you can invite whoever you want or set it to anyone that is a friend you can join and in order to get friends into this game you have to obviously accept a friend request from them or send a friend request to a friend so that they can accept it and the way to do this is go to the social tab and in this situation you have to like either type in your username of the friend that you want to like invite or your friend can type in your username and you can figure it out I've, I've heard some issues regarding the usernames like some people might not have a friend request sent over because of some issue and that just happens make sure to keep sending it if it doesn't work afterwards there either is an issue with the name like spelling or whatever the case might be but you know make sure to include all like the symbols like underscores and all that stuff and that's basically it so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked the video you want to subscribe you want to subscribe and read up and i'll see you guys in the next video take care and goodbye